Zamiatan's We is a near sibling to Pasternak's Zhivago, both truants of the Russian Revolution of 1917, both landmines in the hands of children. Zamiatan takes his imagination in the direction of the dystopian state, the bugbear of artists who irrationally fear the cradling hand of sound government. His nightmare state keeps everyone in glass houses for better surveillance. Librarian, the people don't want privacy. They just don't want to see you watching them. Strong government is built on strong technology, librarian, but you wouldn't know it to read Shelley's Frankenstein. She shuffles dead men's body parts into one nameless hole and then makes it heroic. We cannot allow celebration of a beast so similar to the Internet's Anonymous. One teenage culprit is as good as any other. Capture one, and the rest simply find new proxies. Truly, they are the monster made of many parts, but no worry. We will return the world to order. Conrad and I are alike in only one way. English is our third language. The man misunderstands his own material. Even the title, Heart of Darkness, drips with melodrama. Conrad portrays Kurtz as ashamed of the Congo cult that grew around him. The horror! The horror! Kurtz went beyond English civilization to become what those around him begged for most. An overseer. Their chosen god. Bad government fosters juvenile delinquency. And a clockwork orange pays tribute to it. Little Alex must learn on his own not to beat his elders with a cane. But good government has no patience for individual moral improvement, particularly now that Alex can hide behind the moniker Anonymous. The last thing we need are children free to cavort without oversight. The Republic carves up anonymity to scalp the moral soul. Solov argues against nothing to hide and disastrously fails to prepare his reader for the truth. Everyone has something to hide. Who can seriously defend privacy in a world defined by social media, populated by busybodies who voluntarily post their lives online, drawn like zombies to link bait their favorite alternative news site? We need a republic to become the information-gathering sentinel of history. We fight against those like Solov, who would ruin history for the right to watch pornography without accountability. There are challenges that improve ability and those that merely prove a person inadequate for the task at hand. By leagues, Ulysses fits the latter category so well it damn near creates it. It's nonsense without order. Joyce leaves postmodernism unmuzzled, worse than doggerel. To what end should we let our citizens waste the state's energy on this practice? They squander their imagination decoding nonsense while their work ethic grows brittle and raw. 